Major news coming from WikiLeaks with many people saying that Julian Assange will finally be freed from his six years asylum held up in the Ecuadorian embassy of London, England. They're saying this because WikiLeaks just tweeted that the Swedish officials will finally take a statement for the first time ever. This on the heels of a UN working group and legal experts saying the Julian Assange has been arbitrarily detained by Sweden and the United Kingdom. That this entire fiasco was illegal from the very beginning. It's also important to note that a Swedish police inspector will investigate and also plan to take DNA samples from Julian Assange. This is important because Swedish law stipulates that the suspect, Julian Assange, must be questioned before the statute of limitation expires, otherwise they can no longer be charged for the crime. With all of this happening, it looks like we're finally coming to an end of this Swedish prosecution and Julian Assange being held up at the Ecuadorian embassy. Julian Assange, for a very long time, has been saying, quote, From the beginning, I offered a simple solution. Come to the embassy to take my statement or promise not to send me to the United States. This Swedish official refused both. She even refused a written statement. But now, finally now, after the U.S. elections are over, after the U.N. Working Group released their statement, they're finally coming to a process that could end this entire fiasco. Now, the Ecuadorian government is pleased by this news, and they are welcoming it. But that also makes me question if they are welcoming it, because Julian Assange is just a horrible, horrible house guest. There's a great video online that you have to watch. It's going to be in the description below, called... Uh, Crimes Against Hospitality. We're still there when my friends walked in the door. My husband and I came up to New York City. With real accounts of people that Julian Assange stayed with, just detailing about how horrible of a house guest he was, how he was stealing their food and refused to leave. It's, it's Just watch it in the description below, you have to. Now, how did this all start? Well, this started after supposed... Uh, sexual assault allegations. And now one of the women has actually dropped the charges that uh, alleged this from the very beginning and said that she's, quote, not interested to even go to court with this matter. It all basically started from consensual sex that allegedly turned unconsensual because in one case a condom broke. The woman actually details how Assange and her were arguing whether they should use a condom. Assange finally agreed and said that he would use a condom. But the woman said at some stage during sex that Assange had, quote, done something to the condom and that it resulted in it breaking. Now, I don't know if you're having sex with Edward Scissorhands, but I still don't understand how that's likely to even happen during the act of sex. But even weirder, after this entire incident, the woman allowed Julian Assange to stay in her house for a number of days and threw him a party. With all of this happening, there actually has been an investigation done on the condom, which ruled that the condom was not broken by a so-called instrument, or Julian Assange, Edward Scissorhands, breaking the condom, but the condom broke from natural means. And this is what entitles and wraps up this entire allegation against Julian Assange, as well as other uh, incidents as well that have been dropped previously before. But Yahoo News is still saying that there's allegations of rape and sexual assault, which is very confusing. Now, with all of this moving forward, with him finally giving the statement, there's many people in the United States calling for Donald Trump to release him, signing a petition on Change.org with over 17,700 signatures demanding that Julian Assange be pardoned. Now, I don't know if Donald Trump could really do this since it's actually the Swedish government and the UK government who are actually enforcing all of these rules. But there are many calls online, even including the Australian politician who is the leader of the country's right-wing populist party, releasing a statement requesting Trump to grant Julian Assange pardon. Now, with all of this happening, will it happen? We do not know. But Julian Assange did call for leaks on Trump after he was attacked for so-called being biased against Hillary Clinton. So how this will develop, we will see. Will there be future leaks against Donald Trump? Will Julian Assange release those leaks? What will happen with Donald Trump with Julian Assange? We clearly do not know. But the case against him is finally moving forward, which may lead to his utter freedom. Oh yeah, in other news, Pamela Anderson also visited him and, quote, gave him vegan, more vegan treats that he views as torture. Okay.
that's the news for today. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Support us on Patreon.com forward slash We Are Change, where we try to give you the news as fast as we can. As soon as it breaks, subscribe. We're going to have a lot more content coming here your way on YouTube.com forward slash We Are Change.